Guys, the summer update is here and I'm going over the patch notes for all the changes made in today's new update. Changes include new playlists, a map and lots of bug fixes. For new content, the FinLMG and new operator are here as well. You can see everything in this image. I'm not going to go over it for a second time I did in yesterday's video, but we're going to go straight into the patch notes. First up, if you hate 10 minute vids, then stick around for straight to the point Call of Duty updates. However, to help me compete with YouTube's algorithms, please watch the entire video, like, comment and share. We'll begin with the download sizes. For PS4, it's 10 gigabytes. For Xbox, it's 14 gigabytes. And on PC, it's 11 gigabytes on free to play. And for premium, it's 17.6 gigabytes. And the update is out right now. Two playlists. For Modern Warfare, we have Grand War, Grand War Reinforce, Blueprint Gunfight, Shoot the Ship is back, Face Off Verdansk Stadium 2v2, and that's what I'm playing in the video on the new map. For Warzone, we have BR Solos, BR Duos, Trios, and Quads. Plunder Quads, and the new one, King Slayer Trios. For the patch notes, we'll start with weapons. Adjusted weapon stats graph the better match rate of fire and post-launch weapon balancing. Fix for a bug where tracers could lose their impact VFX when the ammunition is changed from the default 5.56 NATO ammunition on the M4. Sniper and on the thermal scope they've lowered the optic resolution and reduced the thermal range. And they're adding a high explosive incendiary label to cosmag dismembering ammo types. To Warzone a fix for an issue where the gas mask could become invulnerable. Fix the bug where the yellow highlighting of your name in the squad widget was missing from the BR buyback. Fix for a bug where the parachute could only open randomly when jumping over certain areas of the map. In quads, the player's minimap icon had both the down icon and arrow when the player started the most wanted contract and that's been fixed. A bug where the loot dropped from a squad mate who died in the gulag would be available for other squad members to pick up if they entered the same gulag. A bug where players will observe no ping audio from a spectator creating world pings. Lastly, they have three fixes for issues with self-revive. Players may see no user interface for self-revive after buying it at a kiosk, then see the self-revive use user interface right before the player dies when downed, but too late to be able to revive themselves, and that's been fixed. Players may see no user interface for self-revive, and when downed, they are able to use a self-revive. And you were unable to buy a self-revive at a kiosk, stating the player already has his item, despite, of course, not having that in their inventory. So those are three fixes for self-revives in Warzone. To general fixes, and this covers everything in the game. To Grand War, you can now spawn on APCs even when you're in combat, just as long as the vehicle isn't low on health. You can now inspect your weapon during infill sequences. Fix for a bug where players could see tracker footprints on the ground after respawning, even when they don't have the perk equipped. Fix an issue where the riot shield could appear sideways in the previous screen. Also fixed a bug where the riot shield could appear crooked in the squad walk. A bug where using flaming throwing knives would not reset dead silence. Season 5 week 1 challenge reads, call in the personal UAV killstreak 7 times should be written as personal radar. The week 1 challenge reads, play 3 matches with Wyatt and your coalition operator. Play 3 matches with Wyatt using your coalition operator and that's been changed. Fix for an issue where the scoreboard could reflect inaccurate information when going from a multiplayer match to Warzone. Fix the bug where users were unable to unblock players. Fix the bug where the World Eater calling card appeared animated, although it should be a static image. Fix for an issue where the partially watching the kill cam and then skipping it can sometimes result in reduced respawn time. Various fixes to help Tamagotchi Turbo Watch function as intended, and a fix for an issue where the stopping round field upgrade could become unlimited after using two of the same weapon. To the Call of Duty League, fix the bug where battles with integrated suppressors were still available. Lastly, to PC, improved stability and performance, fixed an issue that caused screen resolution to be higher than the native resolution at 100 render resolution when in full screen borderless mode, and fixed an issue that could lock field of view to 60 after playing a game of Grand War. Alright guys, that is it for this one. Everything that's changed in today's update patch notes, including some new content and playlist changes. I will of course be back tomorrow with the Call of Duty 2020 reveal gameplay. And I will go over a lot more stuff on that because quite a lot of leaks have been going on in the past few days for the game, including the release date, which is suspected to be November the 13th. I'm going to go over any Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War stuff tomorrow. But if you want to see more Call of Duty news and updates, then like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.